Alright guys, this week we're making the Gib. Uh, basically it's just a... I'll slide this down here a little bit. Just a little triangular piece that sits in the, the joint right in there. Um, you may notice I've taken off this little guard. It was proving to be a pain in the ass. Um, and uh, this digital gauge wasn't reading properly. So in order to take it out, I had to take that off. And then there's, uh, probably can't even see it here for lack of a light. There we go. There's a hole there and a hole there with a couple set screws. Same thing over here. And that's what holds this whole date gauge in place. So I took those out. I uh, found a gauge was all full of grease and shit and I cleaned it out. Uh, and it actually seems to be working okay now. I'll give you a look. Going down. And as soon as I stop, it stops. What used to happen was I would be going down and it would say like 289 right there. And then I'd be going down and all of a sudden it would skip to like 360. And then it would go back down to 204 or something. It would give you a kind of a general idea of where you were, but it wouldn't give you exact measurements. But now... It reads real nice. But anyways, um, I've taken and already squared up the bottom so it sits nice in here. I've, I've cast this piece of aluminum, but in reality the gib is only about that long. And it's only going to be about that wide and maybe about that high as well. So, I don't really need all of this stuff, but because I have a bigger piece of aluminum, it allows me to um, clamp it in the vise a lot easier. So the process for this is, I'm going to clean up this front face so it's perfectly straight and square. Then I'm gonna go around to the other side, square it up uh, the right distance as measured by that gap. Um, I'm not going by the drawing because the the drawing um, in re in in theory the drawing is correct. In reality, it's not. Um, simply because I've made changes to my piece. I've gotten this down to almost the dimension I want. Just got to take a nice, clean, finished pass on there. Um, well, we're going to go down about 5 thou. Taking a spring cut as well. Let me give this a little measure. That's perfect. Okay. Now sure our measurements are right. I'm just going to take a few readings off of this guy, except the other side because that lines up better. Okay. 
Okay. Do we want it to be... Beautiful. Okay. I want to do a pass on the top here, and then uh, my dovetail cutter will go in there. the dovetail cutter's got to go in. Alright, uh, please ignore the compressor over there. Um, got the dovetail cutter in. I came down to the top of this. Used my uh, dial out front here. Brought it down to the correct height. And I'm going to make a quick pass just to make sure everything's lined up okay. If everything's lined up, I'm just going to complete the dovetail. Just wanted to come in here and explain to you what I'm looking at. Um, when I do look at this, I look for, for a difference in the size to make sure that the piece isn't cocked further forward on one side. Uh, and I'm going to take a measure, just a, an eyeball measure, to make sure we're close. Here we are. And we're going to finish. as I'm willing to go. Now, I take it over to the bandsaw. Just cut it off below there. Maybe 50th hour or so below. And I'll bring it back and I'll finish it up. Alright, so I got it cut off. It's sitting in here upside down right now. This is the cut side. Uh, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a weirdness going on here. Um, I didn't actually have a uh, parallel that was thin enough and tall enough that it would allow me to clamp this in uh, by itself. So what I've done is I've put um, a parallel underneath it and a parallel next to it and then used a one of my knives, which are, they're straight. Um, well, straight enough for this to just clamp it in there and hold it solid. So now all I gotta do is come in here and just skim that so it takes off this extra little bit at the top.
so the camera ran out of memory and I just finished this up um, you can see although the camera has a tendency not to focus you can see it's I had to do a little bit of filing on it to make it fit properly uh, and these edges aren't quite as clean as they should be I just bandsawed them and filed them but you can see if I can get this to focus it sits in there rather nicely like I said it's not quite finished yet but it does it does allow it to slide fairly easily and with a little work it'll uh, it'll slide a lot easier so that's the gib and uh, you guys have yourselves a good day